I've been a fan of Naturium pretty much since day one, or at least day one that they started operating in Australia. Of course, I love Susan and her YouTube channel Mixed Makeup has been so informative. I love how she just brings in like experts from different fields and sort of interviews them essentially, and how she's always out there experiencing different facials and that kind of thing. It's super fun. Plus her reaction videos are just the best. Anyway, um, I got to meet Susan late last year and she's the nicest, exactly how she comes across in videos. So that just makes me love Naturium even more. Now, I probably don't need to tell you this, but Naturium has kind of exploded as a brand in the skincare industry and they have such a wide range of products. It's of course great to see a brand like this with quite affordable prices that are now becoming even more widely available and I love that they mix more novel skincare ingredients with kind of the classics so you get kind of these interesting and unique products with some interesting extracts but you know that they still have the efficacy of like some of the ingredients with clinical standing. I consider it a brand that's interesting but functional. With all that that said because they do have so many products now it's you know hard to love everything and not every product is made for everyone and I have my own personal favorite so I thought I'd make a list to run through the standouts or at least the products that are standouts for me starting off with the multi-peptide advanced serum and I've spoken about this so much lately it's just one of my favorite favorite products and not just a favorite from Naturium, but like skincare brands overall. I love that it has this like more milky emulsion, so it feels moisturizing and hydrating, but still light enough to layer and doesn't kind of compete for attention with other products. It's both plumping, but also has a bit of a nourishing kick to it. It just makes my skin feel bouncy and smooth, and I love it. I love peptides in skincare overall, but I don't really want to overpay for them because I'm not sure that there's like that much evidence to say that they're working the way they are supposed to work but having peptides in a serum like this which is boosted by antioxidants and general hydrators that just makes a lot of sense to me because it's a great way to sneak them in at a good price without like breaking the bank for something that's too novel or a bit too outlandish. This serum uses encapsulated copper peptides with encapsulated ferulic acid. And they've also included a more updated version of a key peptide called Azuroline Amplifier. Azuroline has a very long standing reputation. So I'm actually really happy to see they've chosen this as the main peptide that they've used. Moving on to the Glow Getter Multi Oil Hydrating Body Wash. This body wash is just super unique the sort of jelly oil texture especially when it first came out was super interesting ticks a lot of boxes and makes my skin feel really comforted and silky plus I really enjoy the scent which actually reminds me of like a peach cobbler or like some sort of peach related baked good I know everybody has different opinions on the scent but I love it it's ultimately just a great value body wash and it contains a huge 50% glycerin and I know high level glycerin has since become a bit more popular but at, when this came out it was like that was shocking in a good way next is the vitamin c complex this is the product that started my love for naturium and i was like wow this brand is going to be different i've used it ever since i could get my hands on it and i still have it in my routine to this day and i would say it's definitely my favorite vitamin c product on the market and also the first time that i'd ever heard of gold stabilized vitamin c that stability method for vitamin C has become a little bit more popular, but this serum is still so affordable versus the sort of competing products on the market. The reason this is cool is because it uses actual ascorbic acid that's been conjugated to glutathione and gold. This essentially forms like an encapsulation system that, pr that protects the vitamin C from degradation, but also is supposed to allow for more targeted delivery to the skin, allowing for a fairly low dose. This version of vitamin C is also known to maintain 100% of its potency across six months so you don't need to stress about it oxidizing too quickly. Vitamin C complex also contains sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which is a vitamin C derivative. And I think it's especially a great one to look out for if you have more like breakout prone skin. And all of these ingredients together allow Naturium to formulate it in a way where the actual base of the product is at a higher pH. So it's not too acidic, not aggressive. And I think this is a great product overall for even sensitive skin types. Next, next is the retinaldehyde cream serum. I am more of a tretinoin user but I do dabble in retinol here and there. And I think this is an excellent, excellent cosmetic product. This has a light as aired like gel serum texture. It's super delicate feeling and just disappears into the skin. If you've used some retinols from other brands, they feel quite heavy and, and almost like 
tense in a way. This is weightless and I absolutely love like that as its stars feature. They use a micro sponge delivery system for this that again helps with stabilization of the retinal. And it's also supposed to allow for a sustained release into the skin. Next is the Niacinamide 12% plus Zinc 2%. Now this probably did come out as a bit of a copy or like dupe of the ordinary Niacinamide serum. They just upped some of the percentages really. But I think what they've done really well is just done this in a super refined texture. So it feels very elegant and just really nice to use. I think actually serums is a category that, that Naturium excels in. I think it is their standout category. They just seem to know textures there really well. They feel substantial without being sticky or too tacky and they all layer really well and you can use most of them AM and PM with really no, with not having to think too much about layering. Everything is just compatible. I don't reach for this particular serum as much as I used to just because niacinamide ended up in everything. But I do think higher strength niacinamide serum like this are a good option especially if you have like oily skin concerns next is the skin renewing body lotion the actual like texture of this is quite a standard like body lotion so it's not really the product itself that i think is a standout it's good like it's moisturizing it feels great it's nourishing without feeling sticky and my clothes don't cling to my body or anything like that so in that sense it's a good basic lotion but the main reason i love it is they're offering encapsulated retinol in a body product and i think that's genius, especially considering the price point and now they have it available in a bumper size as well. I feel like I'm taking care of my body in a relatively affordable way and I am six foot four so there's like a lot of coverage and I go through body products pretty quickly so I don't want to be out here spending like a hundred dollars on a body cream when something like this with retinol in it is just a great option. Next is their multi-peptide moisturizer, another classic product from Naturium and I think this is overall one of the best just like no brainer moisturizers out there especially for daytime it includes a bunch of hydrators and peptide at a really good price point the main reason i love it though is that it actually offers a very neutral skin finish it's not dewy but it's not matte and it's not entirely weightless but it's also not obviously oily or too nourishing or emollient it's just a very well balanced well blended formula and i think actually it's probably one of the more universal products around that would even work for people that aren't really into skincare and they just want to throw something on and like live their day i also like that it has a bit of a primer like quality so sunscreen sits really nicely on top and by it and kind of by extension my next favorite is the multi-peptide eye cream this was my favorite eye product for the longest time it's very similar in texture to the peptide moisturizer this just has a slightly more like paste like quality but in a way that is also buttery so once it makes contact with your skin it just kind of melts in i enjoy this paste like quality a lot because it means the eye products it means this eye cream stays where you put it it's not prone to migrating so it never gets into my eyes causing issues I've actually stopped using this mostly as a dedicated eye cream because they did release the multi-peptide serum and now I just run that up towards my eye area instead. But this is still a very good option if you if you are looking for an affordable dedicated eye cream. I, I loved it. I love it. I've used so many too. Next is the Purifier Niacinamide Serum Body Wash. I love the texture of this. It is actually like using like a face serum but on your body. It feels very hydrating and has this like enveloping leather that I really enjoy. And, I, and it just makes my skin feel properly clean but not stripped. Next is the Energizer Mandelic Acid Body Wash. This is a more refreshing kind of zingy body wash and it has a bit of menthol in it. So it just feels very vibrant and uplifting when you use it. It's a great one for the morning and I think especially good in the warmer months or if you're just feeling like that little bit icky. And I love that it has this subtle citrus mint aroma. If anything, I wish Naturium would just increase the fragrance amount that little bit more so we could all experience the scent even more but they tend to be conservative on fragrance. That's it for this list. I do enjoy a bunch of other Naturium products. These are just like standout ones that I think I would happily recommend to most people. If you have any particular questions about these products, let me know or really any of the Naturium range. I think at this point I've tried at least 90% of what they make and I really can't wait to see what they have coming next. It's just exciting to have a brand like this that, that does lean into novel technology, but still doesn't forget the kind of heritage ingredients as well. So yeah, that's it. And I will see you in the next video.